what is up guys and welcome back to our not well another rebuilding video it is going to be Norris this time as you can probably tell by the thumbnail uh, obviously we did Bournemouth last time and it went pretty successful really obviously we won the Premier League in three seasons and obviously that's what we're aiming to do as well, that's what we <laughs> aim to do really we try to win the Premier League in you know the at least the maximum of five seasons if we go over the five season points then it will be a fail and obviously that will where the video ends but to be fair the Bournemouth one last time went down well we obviously got that in the third and hopefully with Norwich uh, they've got a better squad really and also a lot more money so you know obviously I was expecting to do maybe a bit better with them but you know um, we're going into the episode and uh, see who we signed first and actually the player that we do sign first is Callum Wilson now I didn't show you the team to start off with because I was just going to go through with who I kind of needed to replace don't get me wrong they have a, a big striker called Mabagu or something like that um, it's from Congo but I decided to get a new kind of young kind of new striker really because the sub striker is only really Cameron Jerome and he's 29 and so I signed Callum Wilson and also they needed a winger because they've only got near from Redmond and that's it so Balassi came in as well and also you know they needed a new centre back because again closer the Switzerland uh, guy he was really the only uh, kind of good centre back so I decided to sign Dejlan Lovren as well and uh, also I brought in Joel Campbell for the camp position really because you know they have got Stephen Naismith but the art re he isn't kind of, he's getting on a bit really and uh, also I'm excited to even bump up the defence even more and signed a uh, Agogo from uh, Schalke, the German left back, really good player, really like him on this career mode. I think I had him in FIFA 15, yeah, I actually got him up to an 82. So, you know, I was expecting good things from him, really. And obviously, this is the side how it was going into the first season. A really good side now, you know, sub players are quite good. I've got a lot of depth, so, you know, I was hoping to do well in my first season. As you see, halfway through, we are actually sitting in 14th, which is quite good. Um, to say obviously we're new, newly promoted but there again we was actually only two points off 17 and four points off relegation so you know we need to start winning and a big 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 signing in January Pato is on a pre-contract we've signed him on a pre-contract and as well Nkulu comes in as well on a free contract just two massive signings 80 rated that will help our squad so much next season and uh, obviously uh, you know just big big players and as you see there we obviously do finish 12th in the end which is pretty good for our first season you know obviously we signed quite good players quite good rated players so you know that's the main thing that's the first thing got to get up because the thing is obviously because I'm only doing it really five seasons I don't really need to buy kind of young talent I just need to buy high rated players and uh, as we start the second season as you see 77 rated Wilfred Zaha he'll come straight into the squad another winger we've picked up from QPR uh, sorry Crystal Palace and uh, also the Mexican beast Leon the absolute oh he's a, he's a monster he's an absolute monster the only downside is he's really 28 I wish he were like 20 because he'd been a beast uh, so we bring him in left back as well up, up that uh, left back position instead of Ogogo and also Jordi Classy what a signing he has been 25 years old 79 rated big big player in that CDM position and it's Callum Chambers he will grow so much this season and next season if we do go on to that and we also signed another Arsenal player for that CDM spot don't get me wrong we had a good CDM to start with we had Malumbu and we also, I think, had Housen, oh, sorry, Dorans. So, uh, you know, obviously we signed Coquelin and Classy now. And them two are going to be some, you know, big players in that. And I see there, halfway through, we are actually sitting in fourth place in the Premier League, which is, you know, six. So, you know, it's just, it's just mad how we are kind of in that position so far in the second season. And, you know, I was hoping to maybe kind of... Uh, stay there really and as you see halfway through we are sitting in fourth but a big player I needed to fourth was a goalkeeper and what better to do is sign a pre-contract player Zyla 27 years old 80 rated fantastic goalkeeper for the price so I'll bring him in and also the biggest player of them all Jesse just the Jesse the cowgirl out of, new, uh, out of Toy Story we bring him in 81 rated 23 years old just fantastic signings there for pre-contracts and as well in that season we actually won the Capital One Cup, which is mad. We beat Everton in the final. I'm just surprised as usual, really, how we actually got to the Capital One Cup final and beat Everton at the same time. So you see there, Everton did finish third place, so it's just mad. And also, we finished sixth, obviously. We dropped down from fourth to sixth, 
but you know not kind of damaging really I'm quite glad we had to drop down to sit because that would obviously mean win Champions League and obviously been wasting more on fitness but there was a squad at the uh, start of the new season our two new signings Zila and Jesse go straight into the squad they are looking good in that and our squad is actually looking really sick as well and I was looking forward to uh, obviously not well not using it but seeing how they finish and I see there the as you, as I've said I do show kind of the big sales and as you see the biggest sale Pato 35 million for him. I mean, what a deal. The, the players I can bring in for that is mad. And the first player I decided to bring in was Ryan Bertrand. It was out of him or Danny Rose. And to be fair, I thought I might as well bring Bertrand in. He's, I think he's got better potential, to be fair. It was cheaper, so I thought I'd bring him in. And also, I used that money to bring in Saido Berahino to be my number one striker instead of Pato. And I see there, the Pato deal was successful. And, you know, just look at that sum of money we've got for him. 29.5 million. That's absolutely mad. And, you know, with the money I had, I thought I might as well bump up my kind of bench players and, uh, you know, obviously uh, bump, you know, more depth into the squad. So I decided to sign Jordi Amavi from Villa, quite a good young player, 76 rated, but he obviously will go up in the season. And also the Welsh Shavi, as Brendan Rodgers said, uh, he's 76 rated, 27 years old, so still a good signing. But I don't actually know why, looking back on this, I signed two free agents. They are really good players, 19, both of them, 64 and 65. Quite good free agents, really, but... What was the point? But the biggest deal there in them three was Sako. Mohamed Sako, 81 rated, 27 years old, will be coming into us, sending Dejan Lovren back to Liverpool for uh, Sako. So, yeah, we update the centre back position by two ratings. And also, James McCarthy, I will be swapping in for Jordi Classy. And the same age, but McCarthy is two ratings higher so I might as well swap in for that and uh, I see there that's the new look of the squad looking quite good in the updated position every disposition is nearly 80 rated it's just Bertrand that lets the side down the idiot but anyway January came and the first signing was Barley now this is the new beastly centre back in career mode the Ivory Coast man 81 rated 23 years old I can't go wrong but I thought you know we are doing quite well well, we are doing quite well in the league so far, but I said, but I was thinking, well, if we go into a fourth season, I'll sign uh, Wilson, as you see there, obviously glitched, but um, I'll sign him because he's 83 rated, so I'll boost the um, centre-back spot even more, and as you see there, we obviously do sell Joel Campbell, now, I didn't actually mean to sell Joel Campbell, he was unhappy, he wanted to leave, I was trying to negotiate different deals with different sides, and you know my ball just sell them and I hate when they do that on cream mode but with the money off that I decided to sign Korea from uh, it sounds like the bloody country Korea from Atletico Madrid and I see there we did fin obviously was sixth halfway through the season but we finished fourth in our third season that is mad the signings we made through halfway and you'll see obviously the squad coming up it's just such a good squad to use I actually I would love to use this squad. Look at that, 80 rated, 84 rated, which a complete beastly squad. And you know, out of this same with the Bournemouth one and the Norwich one, they both took the same amount of time. But I actually won the Capital One Cup with Norwich, which is a uh, quite sick really, because I didn't do that with Bournemouth. But as you see, if looking through the squad, I actually prefer this squad a lot more than the Bournemouth one. You know, there's more depth. Well, for one, I mean, obviously I could buy and use more depth because they have more money than Bournemouth, so obviously excluding that, but to be fair, like I said, I did I did have a lot of good players from the squad anyway, and as you see, you'll see soon, James Madison, the kind of, I think he's 18 when you first start cream mode, he, start, well, he started off at Coventry, but Norwich signed him in January in real life, and I see there, when we're flicking down, he's on loan at Newcastle, I didn't know he was 77 rated, if I knew he was 77 rated, I'd have bring him back, because that player with the depth we have would have been excellent but you know obviously in the end we don't really care because we won the league and in the second season we won the capital one cup so norwich has been successful well done to them drew and bournemouth and uh guys make sure you tune in for the next one because i will be doing the other newly promoted side you probably know who it is but anyway guys i'm going to end the episode here if you've enjoyed it please hit the like button subscribe if you are new and guys i'll be seeing you later peace